Just when I started getting comfortable with the notion of Frank Underwood in the Oval Office, along comes Selena Meyer in season four of Veep as President of the United States. And guess what? In the first one of the first four episodes made available for screening, she gets a deal with Iran too, just like our real president did this week. I wonder which one's going to work out better. But you know, if you look at the landscape of American television these days, with Jon Stewart leaving The Daily Show in the uh, Twitter-challenged hands of Trevor Noah, or Stephen Colbert already having departed his show, the nicest thing you can say about political satire on television is that it's in a state of transition, which is why we need Veep more than ever. Even with Stewart at the top of his game and Colbert and even Saturday Night Live, there is nothing that can match Veep. Armando Iannucci, the creator and showrunner of these series, doesn't just make jokes about politicians or, or people who do things stupidly in Washington. He takes on the entire political system. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but in the first episode, which arrives at 10.30 p.m. on April 12th, Selena is trying to get her pet piece of legislation before Congress. It's families first. Think of it as her Affordable Care Act. But to do it, she has to cut the budget. And she takes $50 billion from the defense industry. And just as she's about to go into the Chamber of Congress, in comes five angry men who identify themselves as the military-industrial complex. Nobody else could personify the military-industrial complex as this angry, profane, bullying group of men that confront her. That's Armando Iannucci. They're back for season four. I love this series, and it's not just because it films in Baltimore.